Whitby is a popular travel destination in the northeast of England. Port and civil parish in the borough of Scarborough and English county of North Yorkshire. It has the most attractive seaside views where seabirds fly freely in the sky. Whitby is a seaside town where the fishing industry is very prosperous. Local people live in a peaceful environment. However, every year twice a year this is my second time yeah this is my son's first time yeah, every year uh, every six months I think everybody's just intrigued about the vampire it's like mythical or whether it's real or you know and there's all the series on the TV about it so everybody gets intrigued they want to know more don't they and it's like exciting yes. <laughs> uh, they're very like mysterious um, they never really open up to people, mm -hmm. like keep it to themselves. I don't really believe in it, but uh, the thing is, we are, I am a photographer and I like taking pictures and, and one of the subjects is basically goth and, and goth is a, a, a very nice subject, especially in the portraits. It's good, yeah, it's very good. All ages, young people, old people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was really good. It was so busy and everyone's dressed up and people from all over the world come, so it's really good fun. Well, the Goth Weekend started 21 years ago next year. In a, it was actually in a pub, St Penpals, so I believe. And they decided that they'd start it. And every, this is a biannual thing, twice a year they come and get dressed up and wander around. <笑>台灣萬聖節有裝扮可是沒有這麼比較厲害比較像美式的那種就是有人扮公雞扮大象啊搬那種動物卡通人物<笑> The vampire culture obviously originals originates from Transylvania I'm not entirely sure how it got to Whitby but it's it's always been here. This festival has been here for over 15 years. It's been here for a very long time. At first, not everybody accepted it, but now it's it's known all over the world. There was two goths, and they were murdered some years, about 20 odd years ago, murdered here. So they started having the goth festival to commemorate the, these people that were murdered. Yeah. And it's that association with Dracula and the, the novel written by Bram Stoker. So it's um, a in, very inspiring place, a very atmospheric and haunting place. So it tends to have drawn people um, to this particular place because of those associations. The association between the book, Dracula, and Whitby is the author, Bram Stoker, who came here on holiday and when he came in here on holiday he looked out to sea and he was sat on a bench and then he got his inspiration to write Dracula so that's the association between Whitby and the Dracula classic book <laughs> <laughs>